All right, sir. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you recap for uh, your good old YouTubes for the bet and everything. All righty. So we're doing a Bingo Brawler Season 2 Weapon Rando format. Lockout Bingo. I am red. Domo is blue. Oh, and the yeah. stakes this time are that the loser has to make a 10 slide PowerPoint presentation uh, detailing why and how the winner of the match dominated them so glorious. Oh, oh, I thought they're like, like why they're better. Yeah, or I, I mean, or just better in general. You know, it could be it could be a whole summary of, of why I'm okay. superior. I mean, why say why I? It's not even over uh, yet. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I suppose it could possibly go the other way. Yeah, definitely could. Mm -hmm. Definitely could. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait, I, wait. Is there is there a cosplay involved with this where you have like a tucked in, button up plaid <laughs> shirt? If, <laughs> if you want to dress up for your presentation, that's that's great. I think that would it be would nice be more time. fun, wouldn't it? I suppose it would be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. My board's not on the screen. Just a sec. Sorry. Did you do a lot of presentations in school, by the way? I was not much of a presentation guy. No, I hated public speaking, believe it or not. Oh, really? Wait, so uh, were you the guy that just sat there and watched the group do all the work? You're like, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, maybe <laughs> sometimes, sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I see you. We all have our projects that we contribute more and projects that we contribute less to. I don't I don't hear a lot of contributing. Uh, uh, well, you, know, you weren't <laughs> there, Domo, okay? <laughs> I, I could just see it, you know? I just okay. envision. Okay. <laughs> all right, I am, I am all set to go, good sir. All right, I believe I am as well. Uh, the prep time is set to three minutes, so I'll hit the start match, and then we'll get going. Beep Spogus. All righty. Starting in three, two, one. Okay, now Good luck, sir. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. What do we got? Four members is in the middle. Oh my god. Okay, spicy start. What else? Duelist, Sporgot, Great Rune, Remembrance, Incant only, Red Wolf, Hitless Remembrance. Oh man. 12 different sorceries, 3 tree spirits, Alt Plateau Heroes Grave, 30 int, Omen Killer Boss, Dragonheart Boss, Dectus Medallion. My beloved Dectus Medallion Square. Godskin Noble, Black Knives, Magnus, Imbued Sword Key, Urchi Avatar, Tibia Mariner, Soldier Godric Barefus, Consumable Only, Moog, RL60, Godric's Rate Rune, and Lyranid Bosses. Okay, well, the obvious super synergy here is these three. Let's look at the classes. Does anyone start with some good incant gear here's glenstone chris that's not incant but still pod dragon communion lightning fortification uh that doesn't work crap dude okay i mean you could do dragon incant there's definitely finger seal at the round table though so we don't really need to start with a seal maybe we just go with a better class What's the best class here? Mm. There's six Intelm over here. With Zweihander. I don't know what I'm going to need six in for, though. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Glintstone Chris? I do just like Glintstone Chris. And then we can go for the 30 int and it's not wasted. This guy starts with 12 int, 14 faith. Like the, the it kind of works. 
Goskin Peeler, on the other hand, can kill Grail very easily, but that, that's not really super relevant on this board. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna go with my beloved Chris. I think it's the play. Uh, start with money, no need for anything else, I don't think. Okay. Okay. Do we just rush Godric or do we go for a deck this first? I don't know. I think we just rush Godric. Oh, but what about the consumable only? That's also a thing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Two, one, go. Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh boy. All right, so my thoughts are that Consumable Only Boss and Deckless Medallion are like fast squares. But if you could do Godric Hitless Incant Only, then you kind of get three squares for the price of one. That's a big if, though. <laughs> That's a pretty big if. Mm. Okay, no, no, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking deck is inconsumable are, uh, are better ideas to start with. Yeah, thanks for the good luck, Bree. Let's see. Consumable only or not to consumable only. How much decks do we have? Eleven and then nine strength. So our our throwing daggers and cuckoos are gonna do relatively poor damage. So I don't know if we even could consumable only right off the rip. What if you just didn't give a shit about the incant only part and just hitless Godric ASAP? That would probably be good. Is Dectus in a spicy line or row? Uh, eh. Consumables only is definitely not. I mean, I don't know. I guess column one isn't that bad. Okay, we're gonna get torrent first, at the very least. Why do I have this fucking shield on? Dude, this drip is immaculate, I gotta say. Big fan. I should go this way. No, this way. If you want Dex, you should go this way. I don't think you can beat the map control of Dex. That's gonna be my top priority. We're gonna get Torrent, and then we're gonna do the Trap Chest to Celia, and do Celia Skip. Bada bing, bada boom. Have they served you? I can play Turning Wood to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it summon me. Ah, I bequeath. It will sub Torrent. Treat him with. Alright, thank you, Melanop. Not now, Ronnie. Is there anything else to do in Celium? I don't really think so. I mean, it gets us to Caleb, which is just good in general. Yeah, there's no like O'Neill or Falling Star Beast for bell bearing or anything. Oh, the imbued sword key. You're right. True. 
And that's in the same column as Dectus. Oh, wait, that's some synergy. Is the rest of that column good? No. That's Mogan Morgoth's Great Room. It's less than ideal. But it would be funny to force Dobo to do one of those to block it. Now there's an idea. I kind of like that, actually. That's devious. Because you have to block the bingos to, uh, to win off majority. So if we get the other three, then he is required to do one of the others. Okay, we have a game plan. I like this. This is fucked up. First try Celius get check it. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Gaming! Okay. That's what we like to see, dude. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh no. Get get up. Perfect. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, unless Domo also nailed that Celia skip, I don't think there's any way he's gonna get Dexes before us. Unless I, like, get lost on the way to Fortnite or something. That was pretty clean. Okay, so I need to sit to be able to fast travel, but if I sit, then Melina's gonna talk to me. So I think what we want to do is grab the deck this and then jump over the side. I guess we could memory of grace, but... I want my 3k. Yo, Phoenix, thank you for the 22. Bam. Okay, and then we do a little that. And a little what? Alright. Perfect. To deter if you had it seems torrent, whereas I mean there is but Sitting Celia Grace next time to untrap and avoid Melna. Oh, is that a thing? I didn't know that. I'd assume she'd show up there too. Buff and card body, thank you, Brian. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to the other half. We can check round table shop later. She doesn't show up in caves and tunnels. Oh, interesting. Oi. Very yeah. interesting. Could you help us out, Cully? I'm gonna attempt to take a more or less perfectly straight line to Fort Hyatt. I've never actually gotten there from this direction before. So, yo, I didn't even know that was a somber one. That's very convenient.
I'm pretty sure there should be a spirit spring that I can just jump on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Is jumping with the spirit spring like that efficient? Like just to cover ground? Not to get up a cliff or anything? I feel like it is. That went a, a long way. It looked fast. I mean, really, that's what's important, right? As long as you look cool, it's all good. I'm choosing to believe that it's fast. All right, check this jump. Fog. What? There's no way. What? Oh my god, there's actually no way. How, bro? Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit, dude. Ronnie, get the fuck out. No, 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 no. This is a disaster. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, okay, whatever, lady. Oh crap. Do I do I do the consumable only? Oh fuck, I'm panicking, dude. How did he get that? How clean was this dude selling his skin? Oh fuck. I can't make any fucking fire bots. Shit. I don't even know if I have the stats for this kill. I, I, mm, mm, no. I don't have the fucking decks or int for this thing. Oh shit, dude. How am I just now realizing that? Okay, okay. Don't panic, guys. It's fine. Everything's under control. Uh, how many levels do I need? Three? Did I see that correctly? I need three levels. Oh, I need four. Oh, wait. I need... I need five. Oh, my God, dude. So what, I can't fight this guy yet. Oh, I don't want to fuck this Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Uh... Dude, if I go for the kill and it doesn't- FUCK! Fuck! Oh god. Dude, we got to this up. It's fine, I've gotten myself out of worse situations than this before. I need fucking levels though. I need levels so bad. I should not have bought 40 throwing daggers. Oh my god. How did he get that? Dude, I'm picking up pennies on the side of the fucking street. This is so bad.
Thank you for the 20 gifted. I'm, I'm in a crisis right now. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. That's a lot of money, though. Be cool. Hello? He's got to be going for Godric Can next. What do we do? What do we counter with? Row four is actually kind of clean. What if we snuck a row four? What do I got to do to do that? Imbued keys. Virtue avatar, Tibia Mariner. And soldier Godric. Okay, we can do we can do Erd Tree and and uh, imbued keys together. Pretty okay. How the fuck do you get down, bro? I don't trust this anymore. I swear you just drop here, but the, the last time it killed me. I'm in panic mode. It's not good. I was so positive we were gonna get the Dectus. Okay, okay, okay. Got sleep pot, whatever that's worth. Okay, there's some money. Dude, it was the round table that did it. Oh my god, that's actually the difference. Dude, you're right. It was the fucking round table prompt. Oh my god, Melina. You bitch. That's unreal. There. We got a weapon online. I don't I don't think we can contest Godric at this point, but there's no way he's not going to Godric right now. Right? Like that's just what you would do if you were Domo. Which means we could go to Liernia. We could get Red Wolf. Just to get something on the board. And then that'll go into imbued keys and earth tree avatars decently well. I think that's an okay plan of attack. We're not panicking. We're not panicking. Okay. I'm just excited about our game plan. I'm feeling really good. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine, guys. Fastest way to get to Riley Car, you right? Better than the other telly. I feel like yeah. Dude, what if Domo does the exact thing that I wanted to do with him and he gets the tree spirits and the imbued sword keys? 
That would be fucked. I need to get the imbued sword keys. That is our path to victory for sure. Not even our path to victory, just our path to not fucking losing immediately. We have one prepped, but so does he. I'm on my way to Red Wolf, which leads to the second one. And then the third one is just up there. Why do I have Glintstone Chris, though? I gotta fight Red Wolf with Glintstone Chris. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe my beloved Ice Ryan chest pulls through and we can pivot. But I have like no stats. EG still stunts. So yeah, like we can plus four, but I'm flat broke. Three point five k. I think we could at least get like plus three if I pick up the summer three somewhere else. Hand axe, dude, that sucks. Oh my god, give me a break. Jay, thank you the two hundred bits. Should I just go up to the first imbued key since I'm already here? That would be the most efficient. But what what if he snipes Red Wolf as well? That would be fucking disastrous. I, I think it's a risk we have to take. I, I need to be a little efficient here to get back in the game. At the very least, I'm scaring him by not marking anything. True. True, he doesn't know what we've done. We know what he's done. But we're, we're just a giant question mark from his POV. He doesn't know that he's completely dominated the match so far. It's fine. We're in his head. We're winning the mental. Alright, there's imbued key one. Good, 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 good. Oh, man. I don't think there's a free Somber 2 we can really get anywhere. Actually, there was on the way to the imbued key, but it's too late now. Why does kid in the room think of the sick butts? The other two imbued keys are in here and in Celia. We have the Celia Grace, yeah. We're fine on that part. I mean, Red Wolf is a pretty squishy boss. The plus one might get it done. I don't know. Okay, we have to get the gamer jump here. There's the Hitless Remembrance. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. It's fine. That's expected. That's totally expected.
It's all good. We we block row one with Red Wolf. 30 in! Okay, dude. He's going for those imbued keys. <laughs> He's definitely going for those imbued keys. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Is this the somber three right here? No, it's not. It's it's totally not. Oh fuck, where was my jump? That is the somber three? Okay, we need that. We need that. Please don't kill me, sir. It's fine. Chukri, thank you for the eight months. Okay, now the question is do you plus three at EG right now or do you just go do the fucking dog? I guess we're doing the dog. I don't know if this is the right choice. But like if he's killed Godric, then he's already in Lyernia. And he would presumably just go right there. Please be okay, Dan. Fine. I guess. Dude, this is fucked up. What the hell? I knew I shouldn't have done the dog. I don't have any money now. I have to go get my money and I have to go plus three. I wonder if the hand axe would do more damage. Way more dead. That hitbox is fucking. He's in the fucking ground. Hello. Any hitboxers?
Yeah, how about that, bitch? Stalling, stalling, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. We got the dog first, which means surely we get... Oh, no. I don't have any heals. Oh, I fucked up. Bro, I actually fucked up. I forgot to rest. Mm. Fuck, dude. I was gonna die there. If I died there, I would've been fucked. Get the imbued cube. Don't get the other imbued cube. And then we gotta make a row four play. Gotta put some pressure on him. Okay, there's imbued key number two. Just gotta go back to Celium. Easy peasy. Hulk. Yellow dots are just what I'm interested in. That's all. Come on. There's no way he snipes this. 
There. Okay. It's only two to four, guys. It's only two to four. It's not that big a deal. We're fine. Let's check round table for a better weapon. And then we can plus four of that EG, and then we gotta start knocking down Urge Re Avatars, I think. Uh, I can't wield any of these. How do these really go with my shit, dude? None of them are somber. Right? Are any of those somber? We can just plus four Glenso and Chris. I mean, I like the weapon. Maybe I overestimated its value in this situation. But I like the weapon. Yeah, we should do the gate. Er, er, blah, 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 blah. We should do the great sword check at gate front for sure. That would be wise. We can get the ten strength to. We can even get the ten dex tier if we want. We should actually go into omen killer really well, which would be good block. I kind of like them. Okay, let's check the gate front one at least. Oh boy. Hello? Oh, oh my God, that's the perfect weapon. Holy shit, that's the perfect weapon. That is exactly what we needed, dude. I guarantee you Domo's also using this. Uh, okay, it needs it needs in and strength, right? Yeah. I need 22 in. I can I can get the strength tier and the int tier. That's gonna be what we have to do. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forgot what I came here for. Get the strength tier. Okay. Go the fuck away, you giant! Oh my god. Okay, this will this will actually work out pretty well. We got the int, or, or we got the strength tier. We're about to get the int tier, and then we can get a somber four right next to the int tier. Then we already have three, so we just need to buy somber one and two, which are cheap. I think we can do that with 8k, and at least get two or three upgrades. I don't know if we can afford all four right now, but that's okay. Then we gotta start knocking down Urge Tree Avatars in Lyurnia. That's the smart play here. Maybe get the Omen Killer first just to secure the square. 
so I don't lose the majority game. Well, I presume. Oh, I am an old soul here, perhaps. Okay, plus three is fine for now. That'll do. That'll definitely do. Is this the fastest way to the Omen Killer? Probably not. Can I go from Temple Quarter? Is that better? To get to Omen Killer? Oh yeah, I gotta change my physic. Right, good call, good call. I always forget that shit. We'll set this up for the easy ever jail. Hey, good. As soon as I click Omen Killer, he knows I'm in Lyurnia and presumably working on Lyurnia bosses though. Is that a good thing that he would know that? I think maybe. I wouldn't mind if he just backed off. Oh yeah, we killed a red wolf. Right. I suppose he doesn't know we're here. That's true. Also, that means we have one boss death. We can just get this almond killer. I'll feel it's so much more at ease. Three to four isn't that bad. We're actually set up to do shit now. Yeah, he has the guy to Great Run sitting, but I don't I don't really care. He can have it, or he can hold it. I don't know if there's a stake here. I'm gonna get the grace just in case. Not that I would ever die. But just in case. Yeah, there's three dogs here. I know. This is this is Capric Demon Jr. I'm aware of his bullshit. One dog. Two dog. I don't know where the third is, but it's probably fine. Oh, we need the Grotta Grey Room. Oh, that's great news, actually. Why am I heavy load? Stop me, heavy load. Why did I not use my Ash? Two Lyrnia bosses, let's get some Erd Trees. Go, go, go. 
I should have plus four before I came here, but oh well. It's fine. Okay, so there's two Urtree avatars in Leonia, and there's one Tibia Mariner, so we definitely want to kill those guys as part of the six. After that... But that'll get us to five bosses, so you probably just do a quick ever jill. Balls. Probably balls. That dude sucks. Nice, huge stagger. Holy shit, we melted him. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, the plus four. We'll do it eventually. Dude, thank God that greatsword was helping Steeple. We would have been so fucked if it wasn't. The question is, do we get the third Erdtree Avatar real quick, or do we keep focusing on the Lyurnia bosses? I think we get the Erdtree Avatar real quick. And then maybe even sneak in the Soldier of Godric before he snipes it. Because especially since he went to do Godric's Raid Rune, he knows we have priority on Lyurnia bosses, so I doubt he pursues it. And we only have the one square in row four so far, so I don't think he suspects that line yet. Especially since it just looks like I was blocking him. As soon as I mark the avatar, though, he'll know. Yeah, okay. I think we do the third Urtree Avatar and then immediately bear for the Soldier of Goddard. Ow. Damage. Oh, perfectly timed, Sagger. He's dead. Okay. Good, good, good. I could do the Tibia Mariner on the way to the last avatar. Oh, now that's a good idea. That's a good idea.
Dude, if he snipes this avatar because I do this, though, that's going to be tragic. I think it's worth the risk. I really don't think he'd be able to get avatar before us, given that he marked Godric's great rune. Let's go. Just applying the buff. Okay. Good. There's one tibia. I still did not plus four this thing. Dude. You know what? We don't need it. It's fine. Whew. Thank you for the resub. Sorry I'm missing him. My monitor's all clogged up with the Bingus shit. My alert list is blocked. Can't read him. You know, that was a Limgrave boss, not Lyurnia. There is a Tibia in Lyurnia, though. We'll do that after. Mozgon, I think it was 16. Oh, shit. Is my physic going to run out before I kill this thing? Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. Uh, well, let's just hope not. Nice roll! Where was the roll? It, it's fine. I just I reset my physic. Okay. I had timed that out in my head. I knew we weren't going to kill him based off that damage in time. And I mean the stake's right here, so why not? Spam this shit. Dick. Already just marked six bosses? How, dude? There's no way. What, what the fuck is this? Get out of the fucking thing. Okay. Whatever, we got the avatar. That's the most important thing. We can do Soldier of Godric now and then we go to Tibia Mariner. Oh, but what if he's going for the diagonal? What if he's going for the diagonal, though? Shit, dude. You're no matter how you. Because I'm not really worried about the row five, okay? I gotta invade and defeat Magnus, though. So maybe I should be working on that. Oh boy. Well, whatever. The, the tibia is in that direction anyway. I mean, you can't really rush 60. And if you were gonna get 60, then you're, 
You're gonna get it from killing Moog. He's definitely invading and defeating Magnus next. What do we do about that? Dude, I desperately needed that six boss in Lyrnia Square. I can't believe he got that. The only thing I can bingo is column three. The only other thing I can bingo, I mean. Like, if he's already going to Magnus, then I'm fucked. Do I need to talk to Vare to invade Magnus? Or can I just get the fingers and go there ASAP? I think we can just get the fingers and go there, right? I gotta do that now. Yeah, we gotta do that right now. It's not negotiable. Get this for the tibia later. You can buy the fingies from the merchant over here, yeah. And then that teleporter pretty much leads straight to the invasion spot. Dude, if he's heading straight there, though, I'm, I'm never going to make it there before him. We got to try, though. I can bingo row four before he bingos row five. The thing is that he will block row four just by doing row five. Because to get to Moog, you have to defeat Magnus. Thank you. Sleep by, I think, the front. Dude, Domo, like, has a buff that he just activates whenever there's a wager made. I swear to God. It's insane. Plays like 20 times better when there's something on the line. Come on, Magnus, come on. Don't fuck me here. The fuck is that? Oh, I got a drink. Wow, buddy, 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 buddy. What? The, what am I stuck on? What? Why is there a wall there? Why is there a wall there? What the fuck? That's the most random place for a fucking wall I've ever seen. Oh my god. 
Can I, like, drink the physic before I go in? I can, right? Dude, what the fuck is these fucking quarters? It's so dumb. Okay, that's pretty good damage. What, you can't jump that attack, but you can jump the Balakath version of it that looks the exact same? The fuck? Does this dude have a flask? He totally does. Unless he doesn't, okay? <gasps> please, 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 please. Yes! Oh my god. Okay. Crisis averted, dude. Okay, now we immediately send it to Soldier God. What? Get, get the fuck out of here, you stupid dog. Oh my god. Dogs! Okay, 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 okay. Did Ryan take the 17? We are in the driver's seat now, okay? If I get Soldier Agogic, Bare Fist only, we're looking so good. Those dogs might have fucked it up for us, though. <sighs> this would be better if I had a shield that I could parry him with. But it's fine. Captain Banana, thank you for the prime. I assure you it's a better idea to do Godric Cruise. Barefist Godric is so snipable. We have advantage on the tibia already. Even if it's just a slight advantage. Oh, but what if he did Godric for the Kitsubo only? I, I don't think he would on a board like this, but what if he did? Also, yeah, I guess Domo probably did do a Tibia as part of the Lyrnia bosses, but maybe not. I still think this is better. I don't know. Alright, bub. Come here. I'm not gonna die to the Soldier God. Just to be clear, I'm, I'm learning the strategy. It might be better to backstab. That was only 10. The Charger 2s are doing 6. iframes this dude have? What the fuck?
I like that. Backstab into Charger 2. Roll his attack into the next backstab. Or he could just walk back. Come on, Ryan. Work with me. Going good. Two thirds down. Dude, come on. Bro. I told you we needed to fucking... Oh my god. Shit. Shit. Just go for the tibias, they're fast. I've signaled that I have advantage on mode. But it's five to seven squares. I wonder if he had a parry shield. Parry is generally the best way to do that. The Mariner's still get an important block for the diagonal. That would be nice. No, parry's fine as long as you're not doing damage with it. If all your damage is from bare fist, it's chill. Fast travel. Come on, he's like right here. I'm gonna get this and then we go for Moog. I think. I don't I don't think we can let it cook for that long. He knows that I've killed Magnus, so he knows that I've at least partially progressed the quest. But once I mark this, he'll know that I'm not rushing it. 
So then we need to start rushing it before he can catch up. Good, 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 good. But I have to kill Godric for this, don't I? Oh, I have to kill Godric for this. Oh, fuck. You can't do the Vare shit until you kill Godric. Oh, that's a major setback. I could try to do it incant only. I don't have any incant set up. I have 14 faith. I could get the faith talisman pretty quick if I want to. I could even get the faith tier, but that's a bit more out of the way. I'll just have to check what Corrin has. His phase transition to aid the stagger. Smoldering with thy meager flame. Unfortunate. Cower in fear of the night. Yo. I Fuck us. The god you breached. But of course. Are spells random in this? I don't remember. Seals and staves arm, but are the spells? I think so. They are. Okay, we really need to get a good one then, oh god. Or I just kill Godric, but like, that just feels like a big waste. Yeah, there, there's the black flame book here. It would have something random. I think we get the Godric race first, and then we see what it's got. Be proud. You're a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the wind lift you. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think I'll be able to get plus four on our seal. That's not too bad. Corin, you've got to pull through for us, dude. Oh, welcome to I teach and explore so that one ensuring by the way. You he just got dragon hearts. Now. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, he could still do row three, right? 
These are fucking garbage. None of these are attacks. Oh, flame? Is that just weirder catch flame? I think it is. I took you, my man, to lay out your arm. Okay, uh, if Domo just marked Dragonheart, he's not going to Moog yet, and we need to block the row. How much was it? 19? So I can hop into Godskin Noble really fast. It was only 16? Shit, dude. Oh my god. Did I memorize it? No, but it's fine. We're not going there yet. Getting this Godskin Noble. Well, see, he didn't go to Moog yet because he saw that we did Magnus. And if we've done Magnus, then we're already, like, halfway done with the quest. But what he didn't consider is that we hadn't done Godric. Or he thinks that we have done Godric. So he's just trying to get other shit while we waste our time going all the way to fucking Moog. But we gotta, we gotta block the bingos. Once we block the bingos, then we definitely just go get Moog. Before he realizes what's up. Just do right card and get RL60. Would it be enough? What rune level am I? 31? How many runes do you need for 31 to 60? Godskin Noble's 50k. Right card's like 150k. We could foul foot it to get, what, 30% more? And then I could pop the remembrance for another 50k. I need 370k? Bro, that's so much. That's so much. I mean, yeah, obviously Moog gets you there. Then you gotta kill Moog. Okay, don't fuck this up. No buff, because we, we're not allowed to use status effects. Wow, that damage is poor. I could plus six real fast. Too late now. It's definitely doable damage levels. Jump through the jump. Nice. Oh, here comes a roll. Okay.
Gaming, holy shit. Okay. Nice, dude. Right card or to Moog. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, give me this. We get plus four the seal. I don't I don't think the math works out for right card into rune level sixty. Shockingly. No right card into Knight's Cap Cheese in rune level 60, maybe? Well, then I presume. Let's just see how this feels. The fuck that slow as shit. That's just shitty catch point. Does the math on the mana even work out? I don't think it does. We do have the flame too. Dude, I kind of feel like the right card play might work. Finger Maiden had catch flame? Like the shot? Oh my god, any jumpers? Like, Foulfoot right card, plus Remembrance Pop, plus a Nightcap Cheese, plus a dupe if we really have to, or just a Grail kill. That feels like level 60 to me. Yeah, then we can just kill Godric. I mean, that's another 40k. Okay. Committing to them. Dude, I do not need to fucking die right now. Oh my god, don't mean me. Don't! Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Need to go get a foot. And change our flasks and all that.
Trust it, trust it, trust it. Fuck. That's Fort Faroth, fuck. Whatever, let's fix our shit here. Okay, come on. We're level 36 right now. is a resource meant to be used. It's all good. I don't have a shield to shield poke with. It's annoying. On heavy load. Teddy's out. Oh boy. Don't kill me. I'm not even close, dude. It's a great shield, don't... Great shields don't work for that shield, do they? They do? Oh. Well, in that case, what the fuck am I doing? You don't need the stats to be able to shield over it. Surely not. Well, that's easy. Domo hasn't marked anything lately, has he? I don't think so. Might be going for the mode clip, which means this RL60 better work out. Okay, pop the foot. Perfect. Immediately get rid of this shit. Perfect. Okay. Let's see where that leaves us. Oh, we got the duelist. Interesting. That's 54. Okay. What if we just kill this Earth Tree Avatar right here? That's worth like 90k. 17k level. Avatar plus nightcap. Is that enough? Oh, I didn't fix my flask. Oh no, I have my flask. Okay. This is doable. This is doable. I don't have another foot, but I think it's fine.
fuck? What the, what the fuck? Why did that tick like five times instantly? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck was that? Bro, I have 40 in. Or, or, I have 40 vigor. I got one shot. I mean, I guess I'm only wearing pants, but still. Fuck the butt slam. Fuck it. Just fuck it. That's so dumb. What the fuck? Like, I'm rolling it. It just doesn't fucking matter. I only lost 8k on the runes. It's fine. I just had leftovers. I mean, it's still not ideal. If I'm 8k short, then that's gonna be real awkward. Fuck you. God. I need six levels. What? What's... 17k times six? I don't know if this is gonna be enough. That's really close. I can do Godric if I need to. It'll be roughly 120k, yeah. So, I, I... What the fuck?! Dude, not right now. Not right now, game. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. That could be a game decider right there. Seven to nine in terms of squares. That's not great. Oh my god, I literally need one level, dude. If I need one level, then we should be efficient about it and just do the fucking god route.
Do you really have Cat Flame? No, what the fuck is wrong with you people? What the fuck are you talking about? Dude. Oh my god, I don't have the fire tier. I didn't wait for it. God. What the? D face him! Oh my god! Bro. I'm like one mind short of being able to get another guess. be it after this. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Dude, this and rune level 60, we're so set up for the column three. Come on. Shut the fuck up. Bam. Okay. And then... Bam, okay. Um, do we immediately go for the Altus Plateau Hero Grave? I think we have to. And then we have two Remembrances. We're pretty much set up for Renala already. Yes, 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 yes. It's nine to nine. Twenty minutes left. This river leads to the Red Wolf Hero Grave, right? I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay.
Oh man. What a match, dude. What did he just mark? Oh, he just killed Moog! Oh my god, he just killed Moog. Dude. We cut it fucking close. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, you just keep following the path, right? And it just goes into it. This shit is so far out of the way. Also, yeah, I know I gotta fix my flies. Yeah, we know he has two remembrances. We also have two remembrances. We're set up for a fast from Nala, at least. He may or may not be. But Radon after that is fast. But we haven't been in that direction. He may have. Not sure. I have Celia, yeah, which is like halfway to God or halfway to Redon. He also has Celia. This takes fucking forever, dude. I thought this would be faster than this. I don't know if this is the play. I think there's a faster way here. No, because you can come from two different directions. I think we went the slow way, dude. Should have killed the dude there that drops Comet out. Touch with 12 sorcerers. Oh well. This is the fastest hero's grave once you're in it, at least. This is super duper fast. And easy. But you don't even have to kill the guy to get common azure, it's just there. If I have any sorceries, I have one. I fixed the flasks. Fine. I need to dodge this thing again. We're we good. Now we're good. Okay.
Yo, what up, Banjo? Alright, Red Wolf. Red Wolf. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Please. Okay, 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 okay. It's 10 to 10. We're coming up on time. The time limit is two hours. I think he definitely gets the remembrances, honestly. I think we just need to get squares. So Black Knife Assassin. And then maybe Sorceries. Well, he has to get the remembrances to win off majority. But if he has more squares than I do when we just hit the time limit, he still wins. We just need to hit two hours with more squares than him. I'm trying to think. So we have one sorcery. We can get six from Selen, three from Tops. That's ten, and then two scrolls. That should be more than enough, even if we roll some dupes. We should have enough time for that. How does this work? Did I need to go in there? In that little. No, that's here. Okay. Sorceries are random, so it's possible they'd sell dupes. If dupes exist normally. There's the remembrance as well. Okay, that was fast. 10 to 11. Dude, he's gonna go for sorceries next. Oh, this is not good. I was really hoping that would take him longer than that. What's the next best or tree avatar? Er, <laughs> Black Knight Assassin. There's one in Liernia. Ah, oh, fucking hell, dude. I, I think we have to go to the Altus one. Outside the hero grave, yeah. Is it better to warp? I actually don't know what it is. Don't think it was. Fuck. Dude, if he goes for sorceries, we're fucked. We are just fucked. He may think that I'd go for sorceries, because that's obviously the easiest one, and then not go for it. Because he thinks I'm already progressing. Okay, 
If he doesn't have it by the time I get this black knife down, I, I think we gotta go for the sorceries. I think it's the only way that we catch up on square count. There's only nine minutes. Obviously, neither of us is doing Morgoth Graven. Not enough time. Three spirits would be hard to do in time. Okay, good start. Holy. Bob. Okay, go, 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 go. Let's just pray that we can get the sorcery. Oh, God. Yeah, we have the grace next to top. And we have all the money we need to buy him. Presumably. Seven minutes. I gotta turn in books. I gotta just get the book first, actually. That's more efficient. Tops one scroll plus selling. Is that enough? No, we got it. No. Fuck. Is it possible to kill that many tree spirits this quickly? Not with the shitty ass graces I have, dude. No, dude. It's unbelievable. Dude, the Erd Tree f deaths actually. Lost me the sorceries there. That was so fucked. Five minutes to kill three of these things, and that's assuming Domo doesn't even do it. I don't. I don't think it's possible. I have to try, but I don't think it's possible. It's this one, Stormvale, and fuck off, Runebeard. The hero grave.
not. There's not enough time, dude. I'll get at most two of them. Probably not even that. How did that not hit him? Even if I spent no time trying to get the sorcery, we wouldn't have been able to complete this in time. The hero grave one takes a while. Get out of here, bitch. Come on, at least let me be able to say that I had two down. That it was really close. Okay. Gelmir? I, I, I don't even know where in Gelmir. Also, there's 30 seconds. Oh, the hidden tier one. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds! We're almost there! GG's? GG's. I, uh, even if, uh, even if it was, uh, beyond two hours, I just killed a third of Tree Spirit. I was off by, like, three seconds. Okay. Good for you. Ah, diggity dog. Ugh. <laughs> ah, diggity dog. Yo, what is this? What is this, like, a three for three for me? What is the domo bet buff? <laughs> Where does this come from? Every time, dude. Ah, oh, holy dude, what a match. What a match indeed.
dude. That was spice. I can't believe you got the Dectus. I had oh. the cleanest Celia skip, and then fucking Malina took me to round table hold, and I was literally like at the top of the ladder in Ford Height, and you fucking clicked it. Dude, I didn't do Celia Town because I was worried I was gonna fuck it up, so you would have beaten me there. Wait, what? Did you just walk from Dragon Barrel? Uh, no, so I did. I went from, uh, yeah, I went from Dragon Barrel, yeah. But I did the shortcut. I went Seaside Ruins instead of going Gatefront for Torrent, and then took the drop down at Daryl instead to get to the first half, because that's faster. And then went to the teleporter and then went from Dragon Barrow down. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, very wait. interesting. Because I did, as soon as soon as it was, it was like, I want to say, like five minutes in, I was like, consumables are still on the board. I'm racing to Dectus right now. Like, I know that he's going for Dectus right now. So I was sweating the whole time. Ugh. I can't believe it, dude. I actually can't believe it. That was... that was juicy. That was insanely juicy. Holy. How'd you get six Lyurnia bosses, too? You did that way faster than I thought you would. Uh, I had I a plus even... six off in Steeple. Yeah, I mean, me too. Um, I did, uh... So I got the Grace... Uh, near near Towers of Belfry, then went for Red Wolf, and you snagged Red Wolf for me, and I was like, okay, well, I still have it at the very least. So that's one. And then I went back to that Grace, did Balls, Urtree, and Smarag as four. And then I had the Grace for Tibia Mariner in Lyurnia. Uh, so I poured it there, did Tibia, and then I rushed to Adon right afterwards. Wow. So, yeah. And apparently I snagged you on Soldier of Godric, too. Yeah, you did. Dude, I was, like, three-fourths done with the fight. What What is your Soldier of Godric strat? Because uh, normally I would, like, just parry spam him, but I didn't have a shield to parry with, so I was just backstabbing and then charge r 2 I was just going for full-on charge r 2s the whole time, and then just uh, side-strafing. Charge r 2 side-strafe, charge r 2 pretty much. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I think the repose thing, it was, like, 13 damage from the back. Like one for the first initial, then twelve for the repost, or whatever, or the backstab. Um, damn, damn. But like the animation just takes so long for him to recover that you can get like two charged R twos off, and that's like sixteen damage damn, rather than thirteen. Dude. I knew I should have charged R two him. Oh, that was spicy, dude. I was, oh. dude. That was like the big thing. I was like, either he's going for tibias or he's going for Godric, and I can't tell because like it's literally a fifty-fifty. So that was that was terrifying. And then, dude, the fucking level sixty. I was so close to getting that. <laughs> you snagged that, and I got like. Dude, I saw like you cl cl out. click the Moog square, and I was like, "Oh my god, we did that just in time." Uh, I should have gone for it sooner, but I was like, "Nah, nah, I want him to go for it. I want him to go for it." Mm -hmm. And then I was like, "I don't have anything else to go for on the board. I might as well just push for that." Well, dude, I was gonna go for it, and then, like, I had Magnus dead. And I realized I can't talk to Varya until I kill Godric. So I actually, mm. I, I wasn't really that close to even doing it. So then I I had to like change the plan. And then you were going for row three. So I decided to block Noble since I had the debate plan yeah. already. That was a good one too. Yeah, so we did that. And then I just did Rykard and the Putrid Avatar, which trolled the fuck out of me, dude. I died twice to that. And then we got oh. 60 off that. Gotcha, gotcha. Dang! Yeah, the Godskin oh. one, apparently, I was like three hits away, and then you, wow. you got it. I uh, I had some decent calls, though. I, I, I knew about Tibia Mariners uh, after Godric. Uh, Black Knife Assassin as well, and the Imbued Sword Keys. Those were the ones that I kind of predicted you were going to go for when you went okay. for them and marked them. But you snagged me on Magnus, you snagged me on Red Wolf, on Godskin... Uh, and then the level 60. Those are like the four big snipes on my end. Dude, I picked the worst fucking starting class. That caused me so many issues. Wait, what did you pick? The one with Glintstone Chris. Because I, th I thought it would be good enough of a weapon. And then it had some int to get the 30 in and add some faith to help with the incan square. Oh, the, with the icon shield? Yeah, but bro, it did not work out at all. Especially because Red Wolf is resistant to magic. I I had to fucking hand axe plus zero Red Wolf. And it, it was better than the Glintstone Chris doing it. 
It was a disaster. That was still pretty fast, though. Like, you did Red Bull pretty it, fast. It, it wasn't actually fast, I assure you. <laughs> Wait, so did you even do Godric then? I mean, I, at the end with Incans only, yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you just rushed for Lyurnia right afterwards for Red Wolf. Yeah, so basically you got the uh, the Dectus. And then I was kind of like going back and forth on whether I should go for Godric. And then I realized I don't have the stats for my weapon. I was like five levels short, which I didn't think about. So then I was like, yeah. okay, I got to do something else. I guess I'll go do consumable only. And then I bought the consumable only shit. And then you clicked it. So I was like, okay, uh, we'll go Red Wolf into the imbued key so I can block the diagonal and set up for row four. And then, yeah, we tried to glintstone Chris the fucking wolf, but it was a disaster. And we had to hand axe it instead. And then after that, Damn. we were pretty stabilized. But yeah, that was not a good start. Hot damn, dude. What a dude, what a game. What All right, a so game indeed. Question now is uh um how are you gonna start your presentation? Like what's uh, what do you think is the opening line for this presentation of uh how I'm I'm better? You, you know, uh, okay, we gotta we gotta work on it, alright? I I'm not gonna improvise it, alright. No, I'm just, I I'm just asking for like a sentence or two. I don't know, good old mm -hmm. like intro, you know, a footnote. Oh. But hey, that's okay. Ugh, that's all right. Man. That's a okay, man. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so wait, it was these are ten slides, ten but slides. obviously it has to be like at least like what five, like a five minute presentation. It can't just be like you zooming through ten slides. Yeah, it'll it'll take about five minutes. We'll say like not five speed run minutes. through, just like yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh well, Hot. GGs, bud. Yeah. GGs, man. Why I lost. Bingo. A presentation by Lilium Agicus. Uh, grade 19, I I think, right? Because, I mean, high school is grade 12, right? And then college would be 12 to 16. And then... <laughs> and then I graduated, like, three years ago or so. So, so yeah, I think we're in grade 19. Yeah, this this PNG, it was fake. All right, that's that's not on me. I mean, I I I did what I could. All right, that's not that's not really my fault. I just I really like this frowny face. I I thought it fit the vibe. Okay, anyway, let's uh let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with the basic facts here. Okay, obviously Domo is just really good at bingo. Okay, uh, I think you can summarize his skill set in three simple points. Okay, he's he's fast, he's smart, and he's cool. I don't know why I said it in that order when that's not the order it's on the slide, but you know that's okay. I thought I thought this one represented his smartness, as his his brain's going like a million miles an hour, you know. Um, all, obviously this one's the cool. And this one's pretty cool too, but I mean, he's also, he's, he's nimble here. So it was kind of fast. So I thought, I thought it was a good representation of, you know, just how skilled Domo is. But I, now here's the other thing, right? Let me, let me go to the next slide. Because it's not just that Domo is good at bingo. It's the fact that Domo is a goddamn hustler. Okay. I crunched the numbers. And if you look at the match history between us, he's never won without a bet. I I searched through every single bingo match we've done versus each other. And all the ones without a bet, he mysteriously loses. And then all of a sudden, on, on actual game day, he really shows up. You can see that my no bet wins are equivalent to his bet wins. And my bet wins, I only have the one. So, I mean, really, like, if you look at the record here, I actually win more often than him. It's just not when it counts, because Domo lulls his opponents into a false sense of security. Three times we're likely to win whenever there's an active bet. Actually, if you look at the stats, this, this is zero wins on no bet, so it's really infinitely more likely to win when there's an active bet, which is pretty fucked up. I gotta say, that's pretty fucked up. But, you know, I mean, all's fair. If that's how he wants to play, that's how he wants to play. I understand. I understand. Wait, I just, I just wanted to establish that. Okay. Now, let's get into 
the the nitty gritty of the differences between Domo and I in in the match that I lost. Okay. First and foremost, Domo dies less than me when it comes to bingo matches, and this is a big weakness of mine. You can see I took five deaths to bosses. Okay. Red Wolf, Putrid Avatar, Magnus, Putrid Avatar again, and then Putrid Avatar again. <laughs> A, a, a different one from the first one, okay. I believe all three of those avatar deaths were to the bullshit fucking splash thing that just instantly killed me. Anyway, Domo over here, he only died to the duelist. And he also died to the ulcerated tree spirit, but the match was pretty much over at that point, so it really didn't matter. So the only L he actually took was the duelist. He also had two little oopsie falls, but that's, that's not a huge deal. I had a terrible, just terrible Spirit Spring glitch that actually cost me like probably a minute of time. So that was pretty fucked up too. But yeah, I mean, the bottom line is that Domo dies less than me. And this, this is a real weakness of mine that I need to improve on. I need to simply die less so that I can go faster. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what slide comes next. So but this is going to be a surprise for both you and me. So, uh... <laughs> right, Domo's better at fisting than me. Of course, this was actually, this was a major turning point in the match, is that Domo's fisting skills were just unmatched, okay? We both went for the Soldier of Godric, bear fist only square, right? And I needed it for my line, and if I got it, I was pretty much locked for victory. And the thing is, I entered Soldier of Godric 30 seconds before him, but I just didn't know how to fist. I was going for backstabs, he was going for charge R 2s. Turns out charge R 2s are like way, way better. So, you know, I'm gonna, I, I took notes. I, I understand the technique now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna copy Domo's fisting methods and I'll, I'll do better next time. But yeah, that was, that was a major, major turning point for the match. I could have sealed the deal right there if I just it took care of this guy a little better. All right, moving on. Slide number six. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, fuck. Hold on, we'll, we'll get to that next one. Okay, we gotta talk about this first. I chose the wrong starting class. Okay, this is the one I chose on this side. And this is the one Domo chose on this side. I saw the Glenstone Chris and I just thought, you know, Glenstone Chris is my dog. I thought, I thought it'd be good. It wasn't really that good, especially when the first thing I went for was Red Wolf. And I don't know if you know this, but Red Wolf is like a magic dog. And the magic dagger did not do much. Okay, we, we luckily ended up with a basic hand axe. And that literally did like twice as much damage to it. But regardless, my starting class is a problem here. Because like, Glenstone Chris, like, well, it, it's an okay weapon. But the stat line was not great. Because I needed, I needed to get levels to even use it. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Whereas Domo over here... Honestly, I don't know what my point is here. Because, I mean, the Watchdog Stab needs 25 levels to wield. So it doesn't... It doesn't really add up here. I don't know why this worked out better for him, but it did. It did. You know, it probably has more to do with his next slide's point. I, I don't know the weapon rando meta, okay? Domo immediately checked that greatsword chest and he got the health and steeple, which obviously is a pretty good weapon. I forget to do that every time. I, I don't even know what weapons are really good for the most part. I miss the Uchi and Ice Rime. I would just like really like that back, please. You know, it's, I, I mean, the, my stat results so far speak for themselves. I mean, there's problems here. There's real problems here. I'm gonna have to put in more work. I'm gonna have to put in more practice and get my shit together for the rest of season two because I am winning it. I am winning it, just to be clear. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've built this storyline where like, you know, I'm, I'm down in the dumps and now I need to get back on the upswing. You know, it's, it's a narrative that we're building. You, you know, it's boring to dominate the whole time. So, yeah, you know, it's time. We're gonna we're gonna turn it up this next week, and I promise, I promise, I promise. 
Uh, let's see, slide eight. Ah, oh, of course. How could we forget about how much Malina fucked me up here? Okay, we both went for the Tectus Medallion. Okay, but Domo did Fort Height and then Fort Faroth. I did Fort Faroth and then Fort Height. And the problem with that is, what did, I did Celia skip to get to Fort Faroth, which means I got trapped. And then I had to sit at a grace to get untrapped. But when I did so, look who shows up. And yeah, that, that costs about 12 seconds or so to get through that animation. And what do you know? I lost the square by 10. So that was actually the difference right there. Okay, she totally screwed me over. This this image here is is meant to be a representation of her preparing to screw me over. You know, she, she's she, she's making those eyes. You know, she's got that that lip bite going on. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, not the time, not the place, mom. Okay, you can't you can't be doing this to me. You can't be doing this to me. Anyway, okay, we have we have one more slide. With, uh, with actual information on it. And then we have a, just the ending slide, you know? And I think this this might be the most important point of all coming up next. And that's the simple fact that Domo is the Prince of Darkness. And I don't, I don't really know how I'm expected to compete with that, okay? I, I don't know what the Prince of Darkness is. I just Googled it and this is what came up. So, I, I mean, I don't know. He, he looks powerful. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what anime is from, uh, but I think he might have dark powers. And I know for me, I certainly don't have dark powers. You know, he, he's the Prince of Darkness. I, I'm, I'm just Prince Charming over here. So, you know, it's really, it wasn't a fair matchup to begin with, is what I'm saying here. This is a girl, but it's a prince. He's got he's got pets. I don't think it's a girl. I don't I don't think so, dude. Anyway, yeah, I think that this point cannot be understated. This is a really huge factor in the match. Um, I don't even know where the Prince of Darkness thing come from, frankly. But I just see his chat repeated all the time, and I'm gonna take them at their word that this is a thing, okay? And I I think it might have contributed here. Anyway. That is my presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I put a lot of time and effort into it, okay? I'm, I'm talking like somewhere between 60 to 90 minutes. I think I think it was pretty good, you know? I haven't had to do a PowerPoint presentation in a, in a while. I'm a little out of practice, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, props to Domo. GG's on the victory. And, uh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, okay? We'll get you next time. We'll get you next time. I, I guarantee it, okay? I'm never, I'm never losing bingo again. Not with stakes on the line, okay? No, this shit has got to end. This has got to stop happening. <laughs> uh, and of course, you know, just because it's, it's going in the YouTube video, you know, just, uh, just be sure to like and subscribe please okay that, that would that would mean a lot to me you know 